All right, so let's talk about Digimon Online, or just online. So, Xanthos, the wonderful Xanthos, he is now the go-to guy to get DCOMs. If you want a DCOM, you go hit him up. He's in the online subreddit. He is in... I keep saying subreddit. He's on the online Discord. He's on my Discord. He's a very cool guy. And he's the one who's going to get you decoms. I showed it yesterday, but I will show it to you again. The options that you have, because there are a few options now. There is this version of the decom, which comes compact in this little case. He likes to... He usually customizes it. This right here in Digicode says my name, Xanadu. Open this up. You have the connector. This bottom part, this is for two prong, and the top piece is for three prong. Now keep in mind, um, the D cyber is kind of thick, so it kind of crashes into this top part. But you can still get a connection with it, because remember the D the D cyber has a long prong right here, and that's what kind of uh, makes it difficult for it to uh, connect to other devices sometimes. But as long as it's making that connection, you're golden, you're fine. But there is a newer version of this plate that he has made that has a bit more clearance, so you can fit a D, uh, D cyber in here just right. So the uh, the Arduino is goes in here, and like I said, you just plug this in, and you know that's it, Bob's your uncle. This is his uh, standard decom. Now, there is a new type of decom that has uh, been making the rounds lately. They're calling it an Acom or an Alphacom. It is a way simpler version of the decom. So currently. This is one of them. Now, I had to use the Arduino Nano from my decom that Blue built for me. So, for the meantime, like, rest in peace, that one. Uh, I mean, it's not really broken. It's just, like, a, I took out the Arduino Nano. Um, so, this is now its new home on this version of the Acom. So, this is a really... It's, it's extremely simple. It's just the board, two resistors, and then Xanthos is a connector plate right here. And that's literally it. Like this little tiny thing can act as a decom. Now, this is still going through iterations. The first iteration that they made was only compatible with the newer devices. So like the X's, the 20ths, and just those. But this is actually now compatible with Pendulum OG. It's a little glitchy though. And it's also compatible with, I think, DM OG. So they are constantly working on this so soon this will be just as compatible as a decom so it'll be just a more compact decom so this is one of the configurations you can get there's another configuration you can get where it doesn't have this plate on it and it's actually inside a little tic tac container with some uh copper tape for connecting and there's also another version where it's like that but with these connected onto the case so there's a bunch of different ways you can get that so keep that in mind so for this the decom it's going to be 40 plus shipping for the decom. For the ACOM with a case, so not exactly what I'm showing off here because this has no case, but an ACOM with a case is 25 plus shipping. So like I said before, the one I have, it's a it's a bare bones one, just kind of out in the open, uh, but it works well as an on the go device, which I agree. I mean, look how tiny and cute this thing is. This is actually what I'm gonna be using today to show off Alpha Terminal because one, it's adorable and cute and small, and two, well, that's really it. So the coolest thing about the ACOM and Alpha Terminal in general is that, like I said before, there are two different versions of it. There is a phone version and there is a Windows version. The phone version currently is only compatible with Android. The, the Windows version, only Windows. Currently, I don't know if they have any plans on making a version for other types of phones. We're gonna plug in. The, and keep in mind, the DCOMs, when you buy them from Xanthos, should automatically kind of register it in the Arduino IDE, and he's already loaded in the DCOM, like, image to it. So you don't have to worry about, like, initializing it into the Arduino IDE or anything like that. The way that this is going to work nowadays is you buy a DCOM or you make your... Well, if you're making your own, you still have to load in all that stuff. But if you're just buying it, like, say, from Xanthos you do not have to load in like anything because it's already loaded in here. It already is registered as a DCOM or an ACOM. 
which makes setting up a hell of a lot easier. So I'm gonna start up, I'm gonna use the phone version because it'd be just a lot easier. And the set, the, the amount of steps you have to do and everything is identical. Like it's the same process on both. It's just one of them is on PC, one of them is on your phone. And like I said, this would be a lot easier for me to show off. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna show off Alpha Terminal. This is the logo, really cute, very similar to the you know 20th. As you can see, it says connect Arduino and it already says connected. So I have the ACOM right here. It's plugged into my phone using uh, a Type-C connector because I have a Type-C. So you'd have to buy one of these yourself, these little adapters, you can get them on Amazon. You plug it in, it says allow uh, Alpha Terminal to use the USB 2.0 serial. You're gonna say yes. So it's gonna begin. And one thing I love about Alpha Terminal, the app itself, is that it has a really nice UI, very clean. Um, so it's just checking and whatnot. And it is recruiting developers, so if you wanna help, you, you know, throw it free. All right, and there we go. It's that simple. We're already initialized. It usually does this really cool kind of like loading circle thing. Uh, that's something that shows up too, but it wouldn't, didn't show up this time, I guess, because I already had it plugged in. Uh, and so right here, we're going to go to scan. And it's asking us to select a device type. So for this, the purpose of this video, I'll use a Glutamon X because the, the codes I have right now are all strong boys and I, if I, I don't want to put Tailmon out there with the wolves you know uh, so Gudamon X is only level 3 but still he's like a super duper ultimate so we have a Gudamon X here this is really hard to juggle okay a Gudamon X right so we're gonna go all the way over to I'm gonna go over to probably past it there you go DMX battle hit scan as you can see, got that green loading symbol. Simple, just like before with the old style. You go to your device's settings. We're gonna go to X. We're gonna hit this. You got it going. We're gonna roll. Booyah. And now we're gonna connect it to the, the ACOM. And the thing you gotta keep in mind is that when connecting this, now, before we use dummy codes, what this is using is called an inert code. So the inert code, what it does is it, um, it says error, right? But on the actual, on the app, on Alpha Terminal, which again, I should have mentioned this before, Alpha Terminal is doing like everything for you. It is making essentially the dummy code. It is converting that code and it is also like loading up this to make sure that it acts as a decom. Everything is done on the back end for you with Alpha Terminal. It is like crazy simple. Literally everything I just did right now, that's it. You just click your device type, you battle, you're gonna error out. Most of the devices are supposed to error out. Do not worry, that's not a bug, that is a definite feature. So it's called the inert code. And it's something that's also used sometimes in world, which we will be showing off tomorrow, don't worry. But what the inert code does is instead of where, instead of like the dummy code, where the dummy code uh, augmented your win ratio or inflated it, because the dummy code is a, is a, a, a win usually for the device that's using it. The inert code pulls all of the data that it needs without initiating a battle. It's able to, I don't even know how that works, but it's able to pull all that data without actually initializing a battle. So Ogudomon X, his level, his type, his name, and whether or not he's gonna win the battle has already been copied. And if you look at the code, it is very, creepy looking it looks like uh you know like someone speaking in ancient tongues and that is also a feature so it's mentioned on the alpha terminals website so i'll just kind of let the secret out now the thing about the old codes that we used to use is that um they were pretty easily if you knew what you were doing uh very easily manipulatable or yeah uh, they were easily manipulated so you could change the code before you sent it to someone and make it so that, you know, make it so you win, make it so your Digimon's stronger, make it so that you're, you're fighting with another Digimon. And um, 
you know, we never really ran into issues with that that I ever seen, but it was an issue and it's something that could have happened. So what Alpha Terminal does is, is it kind of uh, converts that code for you and the converted code, the app can recognize it, the app can read it. It's just that like your average person, really anyone, uh, just it looks like a bunch of garbled up gibberish. Um, but that's really it. So scan is, you know, step one, you scan. Step two, you're gonna hit send. And when you hit send, it's gonna do that initializing circle. It's saying that it is connecting to the VPET. And so, same thing as before, you're gonna get your device. You're gonna go over to, you know, X and or whatever. If you're doing an OG battle, you hit OG. You're gonna roll. You're gonna, wow, I've been doing really well today. You're gonna roll and now, there you go. It's that simple, like pretty touch and go, you know? You scan the code, you pick your device, you initialize it, you get the code, and built into both versions is a, you know, a way to copy it straight to your keyboard uh, or your clipboard. You send it to whoever, say, hey, I challenge you. They pop that into their alpha terminal. And then when you battle an alpha terminal, it spits out a different code. So it automatically gives you the new code that's converted. So I won. And the code that's on the screen right now is the converted code of me winning. So then I send that code to someone and you know we do a best out of three or you both do it as many times as you want. Uh, you know, it's like that. It's, it's um, you know. Very simple. Like I can't, I can't uh, stress how much how much simpler this is. I mean, look, I mean, go back and look at the older video. It's still there. You can see the way it used to go. Like I, I even had issues showing on off in the video because it's a bit more complicated. And uh, you know, you're kind of like doing all this stuff at once. You're like, scanning the code, and you're looking at your device, and you're seeing if you, you know, how many hits you got, and how many, you know, misses, and then you go and you plug it back in, and then you convert it, and then you send it. This is just scan. It converts it for you, you copy it, you send it over, boom, you're done. So now what I wanna do is I want to hit send and I wanna use some DigiROMs Ah, uh, crap. All right, well, either way, that's kinda how it works. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't show that off. Uh, if I was using my computer, I would be able to. But um, yeah, you just copy and paste it over you, you know, you scan, like if you're starting the battle, you scan, pick whatever you want. And this does do draw aggressing too, just like the old system. So you have copy, you have draw aggress, um, you have, uh, there's no draw aggressing currently yet for Pendulum OG. Um, and there's no like other things yet for Pendulum X, like sending items and whatnot, but this is still being currently worked on. And this is like the future of online. Like all the battles on the Discord are moving away from the old system. Most of them are done now. Especially the official tournaments, they're all done on Alpha Terminal now. So use this video as a guide on how to use Alpha Terminal. If you have any more questions, please, please feel free to let me know because I, I will answer any questions you have. I will let you guys know, you know, anything else. If you guys need me to do another video on this that's a bit more in depth, Again, let me know. I don't mind doing it at all. Uh, I want this system to be well known by everyone in the community. I want the fact that you can either make or buy these well known in the community. In the description down below, what I'm going to be leaving is the Alpha Terminals website and the about page so you can read up on other stuff if you have any more questions. Um, there is a diagram on how to make an ACOM yourself using a breadboard and the resistors. You can do that. You can always still make it yourself if you're technologically inclined and you want to kind of challenge yourself and, and you know, make your own um, DCOM or ACOM. Uh, the ACOM's a lot easier to build. It's really a lot more simple. It's like two resistors and then the Arduino Nano. That's really it. Um, but yeah, that's that's really kind of it. You know, if you want to build it, you can build it. If you want Xanthos to make you one, that's also a great option. The Digivice Helper, I didn't show it off in this video, but it is compatible with the Alpha Terminal. Um, so if you already have a Digivice Helper, you can just 
use that. If you already have a DCOM, you can also use that. The only reason I used the Alpha Com in this video is because I wanted to show off Xanthos' work because, like I said, he's now the guy to go to when you are ordering DCOMs. He's the one making them. So I wanted to show off his work so you guys can have an idea of what you're going to get when you order from him. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, like I said, any other questions that you guys have, please let me know in the comments down below. I will make, I, I will do an update video if necessary. Share this video to everyone in the community so they can know how to use this app. Again, revolutionary. It's so simple. It's so great. I love it. And I am so happy. I can never, I can't even be, I, like, I can't put to words how happy I am about this community and how much it has grown in the past just four years alone. And not only that, but the fact that we were able to make this dream a reality, we can all now fight each other online, extremely simply, on the go, at home, whenever, and it really feels like that now. And I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. We're going to be showing off World, so prepare your body for that because that's going to be pretty sick. Peace.